you guys, there's been a lot of like you know, the Colin Kaepernick stuff with the national yeah. anthem. Have you guys talked about anybody doing something like that or the, the national uh, anthem? Not that I know of. I haven't talked to anybody about it yet, but uh, I respect where you know Kaepernick's coming from and uh, his perspective. But as, as far as like our team and uh, the national anthem, I think uh, it'll be better. Like I feel like Coach Moore will want us to stand and just give respect to you know uh, our country and stuff. So. But I still respect what Kaepernick's doing. Though, so. Are you guys? Even, you guys aren't even out on the field during the national anthem, though. National anthem. Well, I think we're in our locker room yeah. still. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, so. That kind of erases that. Yeah. We, yeah. That, that's probably why we haven't talked about that at all. <laughs> yeah, but that's probably uh, we're in the locker room during the national anthem. How would you assess your first few weeks of positive? Um, if I could like describe it one word, I think it's like learning. I'm learning more from uh, Ely and Eddie. And uh, just getting more experience on the field, I feel like it'll help me in the future. Especially as a true freshman, uh, the first game was overwhelming. Uh, it was just crazy, especially in Texas A&M, playing in front of that crowd. Um, I felt like it was a good experience. And just getting to play, uh, you know, with the ones and getting to play with guys like Jayon, Eddie, and uh, KY, and Jaleel, and all them. It's just a great experience. And, uh, you know, this, this will definitely help me in the future. So. Uh, I feel like I've grown more like mature as a person, uh, just learning more because last year I had the role where I was the leader of the team and just like uh, telling other guys how to play, you know, my position and everything. Now coming back and I'm the youngster again and having to learn from like Ely and Eddie again. But it's just been a great experience just uh, learning from them and getting to pick up different like just picking their brains a little bit and seeing what like I could use any of like what they do. So. What things do you just take from them and the way they play and the way they handle practice all, all week? And... Uh, Ely, it's just his preparation is crazy. Um, he's always the first guy out here. He's always out here 25 minutes early for practice. And he's always probably like the last one to leave. Uh, just that from him, just seeing him and how it's, this is his fifth year and he's still the first one out here. Uh, you know, I really respect him for doing that. And Eddie is just, for a big dude, he moves and he has so much balance for his size. Um, and all, he has so many moves in his arsenal, so just taking that from both of them, that's probably the biggest things. Ely went, went out with that elbow injury against Stanford and you missed Arizona. And, mm -hmm. um, what was kind of your role filling in, in for him and how do you think he did? Uh, Stan, he went down Stanford game and I was in the rest of the game for him. Um, they just wanted me go in and I, I, was, I, I thank Coach uh, McClure for just trusting me and just putting me in there. Uh, just to fill in for Ely, uh, that's a big, you know, that's a big uh, role to fill. But I feel I did okay. Um, from the other guys, I feel like I did pretty good. Though. What's the biggest thing that you have to? Uh, the biggest thing for me is probably pad level and uh, getting my hands on the guy uh, faster. So, and that's probably yeah, that's probably it. Just pad level and uh, feet. So. Is that uh, you know? What's the difference? Um, high school, well, in college, there's really no weaknesses anywhere. Like, um, you know, in weeks, like some weeks you'll play some guys in high school where you could just overpower the guy and just like run around. In college, um, every guy on that line is good. So you have to have like uh, counter moves and you got to come in with more than one move to the line because not, all the, not uh, one move works all the time. So you just have a counter. That's probably the main thing, the difference. I think Jayon and Kenny have been talking a lot about kind of that linebacker spy role. How does having someone like that help out the defensive line and what they need to do? Oh, that's perfect because now the defensive line, we just focus on crashing, the, uh, you know, collapsing the pocket and forcing the quarterback to run out. Um, and just having them spying the quarterback, especially against these running quarterbacks in the Pac-12, uh, it's just a big help from the linebackers. And they've been doing really good, though, so it's really helpful.